What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of FPS dropping, frame dropping or stuttering issue you could currently have with NBA 2K23. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. In the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm going to really, really be thankful for that and I'm going to thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be to navigate to your taskbar by just simply going down and right clicking hitting task manager. Once the task manager pops up, navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes. And afterwards, I want you to click onto CPU and simply end every single task, which is currently having too much CPU usage at the moment. And um, this obviously has obviously nothing to do with Windows. And the same thing for a GPU. So let me explain that two main applications with too much CPU or GPU usage running at the same time on a low end or bad PC will cause your game to have FPS drops, frame drops or stutterings. And by simply ending those tasks, you're avoiding this issue. So once you're finished, you should be able to enter Task Manager again. And the next step is going to be to navigate to your bottom left corner, clicking onto the Windows symbol and opening up your settings. Afterwards, navigate right onto Gaming and stick to your Xbox Game Bar. What I want you to do here is obviously turn this off because the Xbox Game Bar doesn't really come without any benefit besides impacting your FPS and your performance really bad and causing stuttering. So just, just turn this off, you don't want that. Next step is going to be to click onto Captures and go to Background Recording. Go to Record in the Background while I'm playing a game and obviously turn this off. Because especially if this is turned on without you knowing that, this will impact your FPS really bad. Everyone knows if you're recording something, your performance will suffer a lot and especially low on the bad PCs. And either way, guys, you don't want to record something with Windows. So just turn this off either way and come back once in a while to check if this is really turned off. Next step is going to be to click onto Game Mode. And I can really tell you now to turn this off or on. You just need to check it for yourself because the system specifically. So just stick with the setting which is working better. Afterwards, go back once to your main menu and hit update and security. What I want you to do is going to be to simply stick around Windows Update. And I know guys, it's going to sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single driver you could possibly update on your PC will help you a lot with every kind of issue you're currently having on it. And also with your FPS drops and stuttering. So just Click on to check for updates and once you downloaded the latest version of Windows, you should be able to end this task and do the same thing for your graphics card. So go to your uh, browser or to your application and download the latest version of your driver. And once you're finished, you should be able to have better FPS. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that it would actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.